Hello and welcome. So in today's video, we want to look at some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Replit or Rebel. So let's get started. All right, so here on screen, we have a Replit or a Rebel that we've created, and we've written a little bit of JavaScript. It's not super important that you understand JavaScript at all. You could use Elixir or Ruby or Python or whatever language you want. We just wanted some code so that we could use these keyboard shortcuts. Now, sort of the underlying idea around this video is that we've been helping people learn to code and we find that Replit is a super useful tool and these keyboard shortcuts should allow you to be a little bit more efficient or a little bit faster. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first keyboard shortcut that I really like is, is the idea of whether or not you can toggle a comment on or off. So let's say that we were to add a bit of text that we then wanted to use as a comment. Now, obviously we could go to the front and do forward slash like that, but there's actually a keyboard shortcut, which is command and forward slash, which on Mac allows you to comment out the selection of text. Now, all these keyboard shortcuts are going to be Mac specific, but if you wanted to do some Googling, you could easily find the equivalent versions for Windows or for Linux or whatever. Let's now look at how you might select multiple points and you might be able to do that by oops by using the keyboard shortcut um, command and then clicking with your cursor so let's say that we wanted to change all of the instances of goodbye to hello so i'll click before the first goodbye i'll hold the command key click the second one and then here and then if you were to select that you could say hello now if we were to then go ahead and run this, you would see that it now says hello rather than previously it said goodbye. Now, rather than go ahead and click the run button up here, there is a keyboard shortcut that we can use. So let's say that we wanted to run our code. Now, the fastest way to run your code in Replit would be to use the keyboard shortcut command and enter. So instead of Eric, let's say Peter. Now, if we hit command enter, it will run our code. And that's a keyboard shortcut that I find super useful. Next, let's imagine that we wanted to find specific instances of something. So to do that, we could use the keyboard shortcut Command F. So let's say that we wanted to find the instances of names. So I'm gonna hit Command F on my Mac, and then I'm going to put in the word name, and it will highlight those individual names. So then I could click here, and I could go, you could say something like first name, if you could spell. And then here, you would go to first name. And then when you run it, you'll get the same result, but this parameter would be, have a different label. All right, so what if you wanted to first find the initial instance of first name? So we'd select that, and then you wanted to find the second instance or in third instance, fourth instance. You could do that by using keyboard shortcut Command D. So here we'll select the first instance, and then watch as we hit Command D, it will select the second one, and there are only two instances. Now, what about the word hello? Now we could select the word hello and we could go D, D, and it would select those one by one. So that I find to be a useful tool. Next, if you want to swap two lines of code, there are a few different ways to do that in Replit. And one way would be to use the option key, which is this symbol here, and then, then the down arrow. So I'm gonna comment that by using command forward slash. And then if I wanted to switch that with line six, so swap line six and seven, I could do that by going to line six and then hitting option key and down arrow, and it would allow me to invert those two rows of code. Now, you may be thinking correctly that one of the corresponding keyboard shortcuts would be the command up arrow. So let's comment this out with command forward slash. Let's select this arrow and, or just select this line of text and then hit wind, by windows, I mean option up, and it would swap those back. Next. I find this keyboard shortcut is one of my favorites. So imagine that you're coding several lines or several hundred lines and you have this complex program and then you decide that you've like given something a terrible variable name. Now, there are a few different ways that you could address this, but one of the ways I like to is by using the keyboard shortcut of command option F or technically option command F, although the order doesn't super matter. So if you do that, so I'm gonna do option command F it uses the command feature, but also this little addition of replace. So we could replace the name of first name. So here, let's go first name, and then let's put this my name, or let's call it username, something like that. 
but this is what you're searching for and then this is what you're gonna replace with and then you can hit this and you can go ahead and replace those individually by going like that. All right, so next keyboard shortcut that we wanna look at is adding a new line, which I find personally super useful. So let's say that we accidentally pasted over this line of code. So let's quickly do that. And now let's look at adding a new line. So let's say that I wanted to add a new line above line nine. Well, you could do that by using the keyboard shortcut of shift command enter. So shift command enter, we'll add a new line. So we'll go here, shift command enter, add a new line, paste our text. And that is a keyboard shortcut that I find super useful. So we could add another line of text here by doing command shift enter. And then you could also console log something like I am the computer. And maybe you will want to add some punctuation or something. And then we could again use command enter to run that code. It, was, it would say, hello, Peter, I'm the computer. And then the two results there. All right, next, if you wanted to delete a line, you would use the keyboard shortcut of shift command K. So we'll add that to our growing number of keyboard shortcuts. We'll comment that out. Let's say that we wanted to delete this line here. So you would go to that line and then you would hit shift command K and it would delete that line. Say we also wanted to delete that line 25, we would again do commit shift command K. And now when we do command enter and run our code, it is just those two lines, which are printed when we invoke say hello function in the lines 15 and 16. All right, so next, if you want to jump to the top of your code, so say here, you're here at line 21 and you wanna to go to the top of your code, you can use the keyboard shortcut of command up arrow. So let's go ahead and paste that in. So here, we wanna to jump to the top of our code. Let's comment that out. Command up arrow will allow you to do that. And as you might imagine, let's say that you wanted to go to the bottom of your code, the corresponding keyboard shortcut would be command down arrow on Mac. So command up arrow, command down arrow. Kind of useful. Now, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts of all time is this idea of option and right arrow. So if you use option and right arrow, so hold down the option key, it will jump to the beginning or the end of the next word. And then again, you do have the corresponding keyboard shortcut of option left arrow, which allows you to jump from here to here, or from here, I'm hitting the wrong keyboard shortcut here. Now, if you use the command arrow and right and left, it will jump to the end or the beginning of a line. Whereas when you do command up arrow and command down arrow, it will jump to the top or bottom of your code. Now, this, I'm not sure technically is a keyboard shortcut. It might be more like a mouse shortcut or something. But essentially when you triple click on something, it will highlight that entire word. Or when you double click on something, it will highlight the word. And when you triple click, it will highlight the line. So I'm gonna double click on return. And then here, it would be num plus three. Pretty useful for uh, learning to code in Replay. Next, we have the idea of tab, which if you select a line of code, so let's say this line of code didn't have the right tabulation, we could triple click this line and then hit tab and it would move that over. The corresponding idea to unindent would be the shift key and tab, which let's paste it over now. So shift key and tab will allow you to unindent. So here we go, shift. So let's say we wanted to indent this and then unindent it, we do shift tab. Now we're nearing the end of our keyboard shortcuts or rather not our keyboard shortcuts, but the keyboard shortcuts that we're gonna discuss in this video. And so what I found sometimes is that you need a little bit more space. Maybe you're working on your laptop and you're used to working on a two monitor setup. If you want to zoom in or out, this is not Replit specific, but rather Chrome and I think Firefox. If you hit the command key on your Mac keyboard and the plus arrow, it will allow you to zoom in and command minus will zoom out. So we will paste those two keyboard shortcuts in now. So 
so much pasting. I wonder if that means I'm pasty. Let's see, this is clearly not working. There we go. All right, and so then the last, the kicker, if you want to explore more, one of my all-time favorite keyboard shortcuts specific to Replit is the all-encompassing function one. So the function key and the F1 keyboard shortcut, which when you run that, it will bring up the search menu, which will show you all of the hot keys and special actions that you can take in Replit and covers sort of a lot of what we've already looked at. So like adding the cursor above or deleting a line, shift command K, so on and so forth. So anyway, we hope that this video was useful to you. If there are things we can do going forward, please let us know. If there are suggestions of topics you'd like covered, feel free to add them in the comments section below. Feel free to subscribe if you so choose to for future videos. And with that, we'll let you go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.